When speaking about the horrific history of the transatlantic slave trade, one of the most famous narratives is Roots by Alex Haley, which was first released as a book and then made into a popular TV series. This story was the narrative of a Gambian man named Kunta Kinte who was captured and enslaved and sent to America and follows the legacy and history of his family and the transmission of his story throughout generations until the author Alex Haley, who was a sixth generation descendant of Kunta Kinte. And although there were strong allusions to Kunta Kinte's Muslim heritage throughout the TV series and more specifically in the book, what is the link between Kunta Kinte and Fatima Fihri, the founder of Karawin University, the oldest university in the world? In the book, Alex Haley describes Kunta Kinte's grandfather as an Islamic scholar who moved from Mauritania into Gambia and married his grandmother. And Kunta Kinte was named Kunta after the tribe that his grandfather came from. This Kunta tribe were the descendants of a famous Sahaba named Uqba bin Nafi' who accompanied his uncle Amr bin As during the Arab conquests of North Africa. So Uqba bin Nafi' and his uncle Amr bin As were both famous companions of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam and members of the same tribe as him, the Quraysh. Uqba accompanied his uncle Amr bin As during the conquest of Egypt, where his uncle settled on the banks of the River Nile and established a city called Fustat, which later grew and became known today as Cairo. Uqba bin Nafi continued to travel inwards until he arrived at Tunisia and established a city called Karawan, which became a centre of Islamic learning and a prominent place of travel and study for Muslims across North Africa. One of Uqba's descendants, Fatima Fihri, then travelled to Morocco where she established her own masjid, which became known as the Masjid of the People of Karawan, or Masjid al Karawiyin. And the Kunta tribe, which Kunta Kinte's grandfather came from, were also the descendants of Uqba bin Nafi, making Fatima Fihri and Kunta Kinte distant relatives. This is a testament to the often unknown and untold history and legacy of Islamic scholarship in West Africa, as we see that this enslaved West African man had a lineage that traced its way all the way back to the time of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.